the greatest things, they take time. They take day after day after day, work and sacrifice. The best things require sacrifice. Keyword, sacrifice. Are you willing to get uncomfortable? Why do you think that I fast? Why do you think I work out multiple times a day? Why do you think I get up at the time I do and do this routine every single day? Non-negotiable content, workouts, daily. Because these are the sacrifices I make to be the best me, to embody the best energy, to serve a greater good. I know it fucking works. The fasting works. The caloric restriction works. The workouts work. The early wake up works. And I don't deviate from it, even though it's extremely uncomfortable. You have to be able to master the mundane. Building your body workout after workout after workout in a row. You don't do one fucking workout and you're jacked and in shape. It's constant sacrifice. Building a brand building a business, your own fucking brand, your own fucking business, day after day after day, showing up, showing up, making content, putting in the fucking work, helping people for free for so fucking long. That's what you fucking do. You put in the day after day after day after day after day sacrifices, you master the mundane. See, too many people, they're not willing to do that. They need things to be more exciting. They need to have more fun. And so they settle for average and mediocre. See, while everyone else is out partying and hooking up and drinking and saying YOLO, they're having their little time in their, in their teens, in their early 20s, whatever it is. Guess what people like me are doing? Putting in the fucking work that later on down the road will generate us fucking generational wealth, a massive fucking impact, true fulfillment, while everyone else, they stay in this little matrix, mediocre ass fucking existence because they chose to settle for average. They couldn't master the mundane. They couldn't show up day after day to build their body. They couldn't show up day after day to build a fucking brand or a business. They couldn't fucking do it. And so, those are the people, the people who are the fucking dogs who will show up and do it thick or thin. And that's the thing. That's how we know we're worth it. We are willing to show up on the days when you need more balance, when you need to listen to your body, when you don't feel like you are too tired, I'll do it. I'll do it when you won't. <laughs> this is why it makes me laugh when people are like, why am I not getting results in X, Y, Z? I'm doing all this. The fuck you are. You're not sacrificing. If you want to be, if you want to fucking crush it in making content, in building your own brand, your own business, you got to be willing to sacrifice. I don't just, it's not just Paul showing up every day. It's not just showing up to the gym. You just go to the fucking gym and bust out a few sets every day. Or you show up and just make a video every day. It's the fact that I fucking suffer and sacrifice to earn a different kind of energy. That's the thing. It's not just showing up every day. It's the fact that you are continually weathering yourself, disciplining yourself, putting yourself through pain and sacrifice and chosen suffering to earn a different kind of energy. I already talked about it. I talked about what fucking works for me. That's why I don't fucking break from this regimen. Imagine Paul, he's not fucking jacked. He's just an average ass motherfucker sitting there in his sweater. I just sit there in my sweater whether it's in my vehicle or in a fucking house or an apartment somewhere. And that's what I do every day. I just speak very calmly and just talk about mindset and self-discipline. Every single, that's all you fucking see. You don't see Paul getting uncomfortable. You don't see Paul breaking his sweat. You don't fucking see Paul when he's going through it, when he's sick as fuck, when he feels like fucking shit, when he's dying, when he's fasting as fuck. You don't see all that. You don't see the sacrifices and suffering. You just see an average motherfucker just sharing their mindset on shit. That's the thing. Your energy doesn't fucking lie. If you live fucking average, you live soft, you live like a very mediocre average motherfucker, you got average mediocre motherfucker energy, and that's why people don't want to fucking listen to you, because you're fucking just like everyone else. Why are you fucking unique? You don't live in a rare or unique way. Because I don't want to listen to a motherfucker who doesn't actually put in the fucking work. I don't see him going through it. I don't see him suffering. I don't see them sacrificing. That's the thing. It's like, those are the people that I fucking respect. And so at the end of the day, tying this all back in, your energy doesn't fucking lie. 
you got to be able to master the mundane and show up every single day through hell or fucking high water to build your body. If you want to build a business, you want to build a brand, you want to kill it in making content, whatever it is that you do, you want to show off your art, your music, whatever it is, you got to be willing to do shit that's extremely uncomfortable. And it's more than just the, the, the business or the external level, it's you. You are the product. You are the fucking product, it's you. Your success in the external will be a reflection of your own level of personal development. You are the fucking product. Like I said, it's not just Paul showing up every day, or I go to the gym every day and just bust out a few sets, I just make a video every day. It's the fact that I fucking do so much stuff to build and weather and condition and strengthen myself when nobody's there to see, and that gives me a different kind of energy when I do present myself, when I do speak. The energy doesn't fucking lie. Average, comfortable motherfuckers got average, comfortable motherfucker energy and get average motherfucker, mediocre ass fucking results. And if you're cool with that, you want to keep on living average, do the average ass shit, just eat when you feel like it. I gotta to listen to my body today, I'm too tired today, I don't want to push myself, I need to save my energy. For... Go ahead, keep on doing your average ass shit, and get your average ass results, and get pissed that you're not fucking crushing it like motherfuckers like me who actually put in the work you're not willing to put in. She is ready, like Freddy. Just charged her up with good ass energy. Pink salt on top. It's about a 23 hour fast today. One meal a day, keto, caloric deficit. Making it rain. For those asking, how do you only eat beef and salt? My taste buds, they're sensitive, baby. I challenge you to eat one time a day and destroy your body with physical training during that fasting time. And let's see how grateful you are to eat very simple, nutrient-dense foods. You might be surprised. Talk is cheap. How about we just let the energy do the talking? Bam, that's right. Bam, that's right. Bam, take them high mother fucking vibrations. I fucking love you. Have a fabulous Friday the 13th. A little bit of good luck energy. That's fucking right. I fucking love you. Let's get it today. Peace.